All right, folks, welcome back to Karak Alvaron's Gaming. We're back in Ultimate General Civil War, and today we have a new battle, a small battle. We're going to do Yuka. Um, small little skirmish. This They usually give you a couple of skirmishes after grand battles, and we just had the Battle of Antietam, which was a bloodbath. Um, total 31,000 casualties almost 32,000. Um, tough fight, we won it, but it was still a huge, huge fight. Um, I realized at that point that I really need to start filling out my cores. So I finished my second core and I'm working on my third core. I need to have my third core finished out. That They're getting the attention. Um, I need to beef up the infantry units to 2,000 as well. Um, so I still got a lot of work to do. So before we get going on this battle, in this video, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe. Please share the video. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and it keeps me motivated as a creator. I really, really appreciate it. I do have mirror sites for my YouTube channel. I have a channel on BitChute and a channel on Rumble that I basically upload the same videos. So if YouTube is no longer your thing, you can find me on BitChute and Rumble. I will leave links to those channels in the description below. So, I think, God, this has got to be episode 18 or 19 of this series. This is a long series. This is a long campaign. Um, but I'm having a blast, and I think this is going to be a pretty straightforward fight. But we'll find out. Let's get to it. Ten brigades. Fine. One rebel division is taking position to halt our, your advance. You have to attack the rebels and clear the way. Okay. That's pretty straightforward. Where am I going? Uh huh. God, it's just a straight assault. I mean. Complemental forces here, so. All right, let's start the battle. Um, I got three minutes to capture Iuka Junction. Let's get our troops moved up. Right to these crossroads. Artillery there, and you guys will be right about here. Let's do it. Nothing so far. There we go. Some skirmishers. All right, well, there they are. Get everybody up before we move the line. Here's what we're going to do. Let's get the artillery line established right about here. And you guys are going to be right about there. General, get you right there, and supplies right there. Let's do that. Let's push right in. Ah! 
I've got some season troops here. There's no reason why I can't, uh... Increase my expectations of these guys. Oh, they've got a pretty good defense position over here. Let's get that artillery rolling. Everybody move up. Artillery on them, boys. My mistake. <sighs> Colonel Jim Edwards is killed. That's not good. <laughs> Alright, Loomis, I need you to come back, buddy. One of my most seasoned commanders. Let's go. they routing? I've got a huge su numerical superiority. I've got... Uh, why? So frustrating. Notice. <laughs> back, back in that position, please. got a pretty good defensive position here. I don't think I'm going to be able to take it, that's for sure. It'd be nice if some of my troops didn't frickin' flee, though. That'd be great. I need to get this guy Gates out of here. Speed it up. Don't need to make this video any longer than it has to be, right? I think we got a win here. We just got a hold. Alright, 
we'll just hold. See if they come back for more. Pretty straightforward fight. Basically just a front rush. So this is one of the benefits of having won so many victories, right? Especially the, the grand battles. Every time you win, and this is one of the best parts about this game, is it accurately kind of figures in the attrition rate for the North and the South. Like the North always had the numerical superiority because they just had more, more men. Um, maybe not strategic genius and generalship, but I got more men and you know the south is just their their units are whittled down because I've been fighting them in these huge battles they've been taking losses they can't replace so that's why they've got units of 700 800 thousand I keep you know I keep just bringing in the men almost got this one in the bag Victory. 10,000 against 5,000. Yeah, that was a. Wow. The only 800 casualties against their 3K. Almost wiped them out. Sterling Price, you just got your butt handed to you, buddy. Although, it took a. Yeah. Colonel, I freaking lost a Colonel, so it wasn't. It wasn't without its price on my side either. I gotta replace it now. Um, overall, very easy, straightforward battle, but we'll take it. Um, yeah, just one promotion point. All right, I got to replace one guy. Not bad. Uh, again, that was a really simple victory, but we're going to take it. Um, and we are going to work on... Logistics, so we can... Supply is next. So we got that. Barracks. I've got... I'm going to have to hire another... Another lieutenant colonel to take over for, um... Maglinton. Or actually whoever just died. I can't remember his name. Anyways, uh, let's not belabor this any longer. Um, very straightforward, quick video today. Um, got that out of the way. Uh, which is good on our way to... Fredericksburg, which should be another grand battle, which should be fun. Um, right here. All right. So, although we got to do Perryville next, and Perryville should be interesting. It's actually this is a medium-sized battle. Um, you can tell by the victory rewards. The real, real small ones give you four, four victory points. The medium-sized ones give you five. The grand battles give you 30 plus, and the really big battles like Antietam gives you 40 plus. So Frederick, so we've got a medium battle, and then we've got another grand battle, and Fredericksburg should be interesting. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you again soon.